What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're talking Rugby Australia's BNR Alliance proposal which has caused a major divide amongst the rugby community. Obviously Rugby Australia's chairman had said that they would be willing to offer the hosting rights of this year's British and Irish Lions tour due to the COVID pandemic hitting South Africa obviously quite badly and then obviously over in the UK and Ireland. So the suggestion was to host a tournament in Australia, sharing the obviously the, the the earnings equally between SA and the Lions, and then obviously whatever needs to be charged for Australia services, they will be doing it. Obviously, possible suggestions was to have a combined Australian and France French team, um, as France will be touring Australia during that time to possibly play the Lions. There were a lot of ideas that were thrown. Um, at it as we were approaching but obviously the media has hit it um, some are agreements some are disagreements some are quite annoyed obviously if you haven't seen my video which I posted yesterday on it click on the icons it will be there where I talk about um, the importance of this tournament being as a tour in South Africa the opportunities it brings from a tourism point of view, from a, a just venue point of view, ticketing sales, um, as well as small businesses that continue to grow and rely, charities, etc., etc., um, that are investing in this tournament in South Africa and are hoping to send their clients to the safaris and all that stuff. So it's massive um, opportunity to bring in money. But with COVID-19 hitting South Africa, we're in lockdown. The UK is in lockdown. Who knows where we will be in months to come when the Lions tour kicks off. So there's a lot of confusion um, in the air because no one actually knows what's it, what's the right thing to do or what isn't the right thing. We've all got our opinions, but at the end of the day, fans want rugby, fans want this tournament. It needs to go ahead. But um, obviously they've expressed their opinions on social media, which I will get to um, in this video. It's a, a remarkable moment in time when the Lions tour a team every, well, at the Southern Hemisphere every four years. It's been 12 years since they were last in South Africa, 2009, when it happened. So it's been a hell of a long wait. But obviously, four years ago, Six, eight years ago, 12 years ago, we never would have thought we would be in a pandemic that we are right now, which has caused so much chaos around the world. So right now we are deciding whether to move it to the UK, to move it to Australia, to postpone it to 2022. The talk is how can you postpone it to 2022 when Ireland and New Zealand are playing um, and so many things are happening um, with regards to North touring South. Then there was talk of sending a second Lions team which is definitely possible but um, obviously you want to get everyone happy but at this stage I don't think everyone's going to be happy with their end result because there'll be disappointment from a, a delay there'll be disappointment if another country gets missed out you know it's just it's never going to suit anyone right now unfortunately so we'll have to wait and see Feb this is the month the so first of february is the time of this recording um is when these guys are going to meet and discuss what's going to happen and we will have to wait and see what the final result is but this is social media's reaction paul williams tweeted all for the lions going to australia to play south africa weird times need weird solutions sounds good to me uh jim Hamilton has replied that the Times Times Sport did a tweet and he said, um, obviously they were talking about it going to Australia, possibly he said, please no. Stuart Barnes, obviously we all know who he is. Um, it's safer, more crowds, all those Brits and Irish and Oz would generate an atmosphere in stadiums, even if it's grim news for our travel firms. I noticed he said nothing about South Africa there. Um, you know, we do have a lot of fans over there uh, as well. Then uh, someone else was saying the tournament um, uh, was obviously being moved. And then BJ Boyd had said South Africa versus Lions in Australia. I mean, all you have to do is read that again. It will be a great shame if they are even considering that. 
James Melville has said, brilliant idea, move the British and Irish test series in the summer uh, from South Africa to Australia. Right now, this makes complete sense for obvious reasons. Uh, Letabo on Twitter said, Australians should bugger off. British and Irish Lions tours should be cancelled if they can't stage it in South Africa or postpone it until 2022. Playing in Australia or UK wouldn't be right and South Africa would lose out big time. The thought of getting up at 8am to watch the Springboks run out in Perth to play the Lions and having to hear Aussie commentary, it's frankly a revolting image. Of all the potential solutions, it is the single most unreliable and a tough one for South African fans. And then obviously Paul Williams, the coach, said he's all for it, but then Stefan had made a comment and said this. But that removes all meaningful aspects of the tour. If they can't play in SA, then better to just tour Australia and play the Wallabies and give SA the next tour shot. Scott Gerald Parker says, as an Alliance fan living in South Africa, this would be far from ideal. With Sydney being nine uh, plus nine hours, games would be at times that are not ideal for both the UK and South Africa. SA is also in dire need for tourists and the revenue tour would bring, that the revenue tour would bring. And another one said, yawn there. So, interesting opinions and thoughts on this one. It's a tough one. It's going to have mixed emotions for everyone. And like I said, I don't think at the end of the day, people will be satisfied with the, the results, unfortunately. In talk of the channel itself, people had said it, uh, what, what you guys had said on my channel. Uh, Chester Donnie says, play it in WA. Western fourth as a warm up and then straight into the test matches. So he's in agreement with maybe it going to Australia. And then Mo says, you can't have the Lions play um, over there. Chester says, how about this idea? Make it a tri series between the Lions, Springboks, and Wallabies. Now, wouldn't that be something? It would indeed be something. But again, it's missing the point of tourism in South Africa, but I get as a plan B, you know, these things, if, if the show must go on, then these things must be considered perhaps. Scott Graham said, Gareth, here in the UK travel has been banned at the moment and the, the government have said, you must say why your travel is necessary if you're not, if you won't be covered by an insurance company. So he's talking about travel. Jack Darby says, can't postpone it to 2022. This is what I briefly mentioned earlier. Ireland are touring New Zealand and England are touring Australia. So will probably have France or Wales. I think it's Wales. Um, Gus driving in Australia said, why don't the Lions, why don't the Lions tour just do uh, the Southern Hemisphere tour of RSA, Australia, New Zealand, Argentina, of course. Then Rona is defeated everywhere. Um, yeah, so, uh, and a few others that are saying in disagreement um, on that, and some are agreeing. So, there you have it. Everyone's got their own thoughts and opinions. You've got mine. Check the i cards for yesterday's video on that. But I just thought it's caused a stir in the air, but um, it's definitely mixed opinions from the world of sports. So, it will be interesting to see how we go about it and how, what the final decision is going to be. Who's next uh, for hosting rights of the Lions tour? I think maybe New Zealand. It is currently COVID free, so why not? But we'll see what happens. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe, never give up. Cheers.